We already have a few gifts. There's some from, actually, there's one from Peter the Elf, which, oh, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's hanging on top of the TV today. <laughs> Got my little elves here, helping me wrap gifts. I was telling Benji earlier that Juliana is probably going through a growth spurt because she just sleeps. He slept in like over an hour. Great announcement. We're almost to $9,000. That is, that is insane! 10,000 would be one tenth of the way there. My goal, everybody, is to get to 30,000 before the live broadcast. 30,000. Dude, if all of you guys donated mm -hmm. even $10, just $10, then I feel like we could reach our goal even sooner. And then our incentive is getting narrowed down right now. What are some of your top few incentives? Well, of course, Benjita coming back definitely comes up. A second one is uh, Benjita well, yeah. and Julianne. Another one, but Judy doesn't want to do it, is Judy dressing up like a man. I, I don't like think it's it not has as the same exciting. appeal. No. I mean, the other one that I saw was Benji or Juliana does my makeup mm -hmm. and then I go out in public yeah. all day. I mean the man one, you know, we're down for whatever. I guess, well either way, you're donating to a good cause, but it's exciting to have a fun incentive. And if Benjita and Juliana do, do return, of course they're gonna do something bigger and better. Okay, well I would love to get this. <laughs> do you see that? Can you say hi to Teddy Bear? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> what are you guys doing? So it's been about a year since JB has seen the singing bear. I'm gonna play it for her and see if she remembers. Mia and Kira love it so far. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Hi, JB! Hi, oh, oh, oh. Mommy, miss you. She said, miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> Juliana, look, singing bear. Say like, that's not normal. How about the baby? The baby bear. Is he wrestling? Is this baby wrestling right now? Jimmy, you got some gifts under the bed. Oh. oh wait, oh wait, but you have to open that on Christmas. Right? Christmas, not yet. Where's Peter? She's looking on the tree right now, but it's really up there in an awkward place. Oh, did you oh, find him? Peter! <gasps> Peter moved. He's just chillaxing. Do you really have to zoom? Awkward position is because I couldn't reach quite up there, so I kind of just tossed him. Oh, okay. JB, Peter moved all on his own. What do you want to eat for breakfast? Apple. Uh huh. Apples? Apple and yogurt? Yeah. Mommy. Okay. Apple and yogurt it is. Apples and yogurt, apples and yogurt, apples and yogurts, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the greatest invention ever. Getting ready for my date with Hubby Bear. Actually, I'm gonna follow him to downtown because he's gonna be filming the Massive Monkeys, which is a huge deal. They're a huge b-boy group here in Seattle. A banana? Okay. Anyways, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna um, just kind of join him on that and then afterwards we're gonna go out to eat because it's my last day here and I'm not gonna see everyone for a whole week. I'm really gonna miss my kids, but I'm also really gonna miss Benji. You know, it's just a week and I'll get to see my family in the Philippines and we get to lay my grandmother to rest in peace. I'm sorry, 
Sorry, you never got to meet Nanai. Thank you, at the JB. Wait, who took this bite right here? Was that Mia? I think it's JB. Did you take a bite, Juliana? There's no way Mia. Oh my God, did she? It could be her not this ball. Garbage. It's okay, throw that away in the garbage. You know where the garbage is. Actually, it's compost. Here, give it to me. Yeah, you share your banana with baby sisters. Thank you. <laughs> banana monster, monster, monster. Banana monster, monster, monster. I don't think she got all of it, honey. <laughs> yeah, the blocks. Heading to my parents' house because I have some family visiting. And what did I come in here for? Oh, yeah. I'm going to bring some sushi. It's actually one of my grandmother's sister, but she's going to see me and Kira for the first time. And in my brain, at least that's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. Owie, owie, owie. Where? Where'd you get owie? On your foot? Oh no. Mwah. All better. Night, mommy. <gasps> okay, night night, JB. You don't see Rhino? Rhino. Yeah, there he is. You can get him. Go ahead. Whoa, no. Oh! This is the first meal of the day. It's already 1.20 in the afternoon. I just totally forgot to eat. <laughs> and uh, she doesn't have a lot on her mind. I'm like super stressed today. I see an owie. Oh no, go kiss him. Mama, mama. Yeah, mama's medicine. You don't touch that. I know. Okay, let's try to do opposite. There you go. There you go. Wow. That one? It's much better than you guys don't run into each other. Boop, boop. <laughs> it is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm just not good at puzzles. Check. Mommy, check. Check Bell? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna check Bell's heartbeat. Oh, yep. She's very healthy. Woo, woo, woo. Is she good? Yes, good. <laughs> oh, she's pretending to eat the grapes. <laughs> good girl. Can you bless Mola? Bless. A bless Lola. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Seattle, Benji's gonna record the um, Massive Monkeys breakdancers. I'm about to see the photos from Jessica Yankee Photography from when we were in Missouri. <laughs> oh my gosh. So cute. Oh, wow, that's a good one. I love the one of JB in the chair. <laughs> oh man, I don't even remember that chair. You don't remember that? That was towards the end. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> are these are these all the photos, or these are just some of the ones that she picked? Those are the ones I, she picked and edited. Oh my god, I'm looking at Mia and her little tongue. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So we're about to do the whisper challenge and we were tagged by Sam Sherman. Benji has no idea what it's about so we're going to watch a few videos and then we're going to do it. I like Miranda Sings. I think she's cool. I just decided to tweet and because I don't really know what to say to Benji. So sad I actually didn't end up going with Benji. 
because I have to edit these videos and tomorrow I'm just gonna focus on being with the family and then packing. Oh man, I feel bad. Benji just went by himself. I'm so excited. We also filmed a holiday gift guide. My goal is to have that up by tomorrow. So that's why I'm working on it right now. It's at 10 and a half minutes and to me that's kind of long. So I'm going to try to trim it as best I can but still keep it somewhat entertaining. So anyway, that will be up on its Judy time. Maybe by the time you watch this vlog. I'm in Chinatown. Or actually, it's properly called... International District here in Seattle. Basically, it's our Chinatown. About to meet up with one of the most famous b-boy crews in the world. Definitely the most famous in Seattle. Massive Monkeys. Now, this is the first time I'm going to the practice spot. In fact, this is it. Right there. The beacon. Massive Monkeys. I have the biggest cramp in my neck right now. Oh man, I could really use a nice deep tissue massage. But you know what? I just realized I totally didn't show you guys the girl's Christmas photo with Santa from like five days ago. I I don't know how that slipped my mind, so I'm gonna show you guys. Actually, let me try the light. It's so cute. Well, first let me show you JB's from last year. Oh my gosh, she was so pissed out. It was so cute. And she was just as upset this year. I just didn't have it... Um, captured because it was just chaotic and I was trying to get the babies on Santa and then the photographer lady wasn't you could tell right when she saw Juliana crying she was like rolling her eyes like oh here goes another crier this one turned out okay I actually wanted the one of JB crying because me and Kira had smirks on their faces but uh, Santa's eyes were closed but anyway this is the one we chose JP's off to the side with her lollipop. Oh, don't be a grumpy bear. <laughs> so I ended up waking him up from a nap because it is almost 8.30. They usually don't sleep this. I think today's schedule is just totally off. I know, I'm sorry, K-Bear. But I smell a poopy. I need to change some diapers. <laughs> Side pals! These cheeks, though. These cheeks. Juliana's gonna sleep really late tonight. I was literally kissing her face, like smothering her with kisses, and she was still sleeping. The girls are eating bandisal, which is sweet Filipino bread. Paper's <laughs> like, I finished my piece. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if Benji can FaceTime while we're in Philippines. Oh shoot, that's what I should have done was set up with our phone company to let them know that we're gonna travel abroad. Jeromeski. What's going on? The legend, you guys. Hello. They were on a show called America's Best Dance Group. This is their studio here, right in the International District. It's one of the nicest b-boy studios I've ever seen. Oh, well, Mom, you're gonna be fashionable tomorrow. The flannel is totally in again. Can you bring some Judy Time palette? I don't even have any more Judy Time palettes. <laughs> I slept watching them squirm around. <laughs> what are you getting into this time, K-Bear? Kira? No. Kira, over here, baby. <laughs> Come over here. Look who woke up. Or actually, I had to wake up. This diva. But I had to wake her up. She wasn't very happy because she would have slept longer, but she would have slept at like 12 if that was the case. Use your words. No. Okay, I'll stay here. I'll stay out here. You don't have to close the door. Mister. 
lipstick. This is Jeromsky. Bryce is Bryce. Hannah. Hannah Banana, please. And this is Leah. You're not a B-girl, are you? I am not. Oh, you're not. I'm a dancer. Oh, you're a dancer. But I'm Jeromsky's wife. He was nice enough to have me out here to perform for Dan Samber, help with the effort to fundraise money for you know, uh, the fight against sex slavery. Why don't you tell us about what you guys do here at the studio? I'm uh, one of the founders of Massa Monkeys, and uh, we had a big dream. 2006 to have a studio where we can have after school programs and one of the other founders of NASA Monkeys, uh, Bryson, which is right here, he actually uh, <laughs> took the risk and uh, went at it to, to have a the studio. So we have about 20 years of experience in dancing yeah. and pop culture, um, so we're sharing it with youth and families in our community here locally in Seattle. It's called NASA Monkey Studio The Beacon. We're in Chinatown. Pretty much simple as that, putting our love and our passion out there, uh, showing appreciation to the pioneers of the culture and we're sharing with the next generation. I'm at Mini Breaks Dance and it is a toddler and preschool breaking class. Um, so if you have a wiggly toddler or preschooler that doesn't do well in like ballet, jazz, or tap, or choreography That's in general. That's me. I got toddler, Yes, yeah. but they're totally, you know, they think, they're, they dance. Yeah. So um, bring them to my class yeah. and um, we'll move and it's, it's real yeah. breaking. It's right here in Seattle, you know, everybody. Right so, in Seattle. Yeah. Come visit. Mini Breaks happens at Massive Monkey Studio, The Beacon, at Massive Monkey Studio. So all the information that has to do with us, the crew, the studio, and everything we're about, uh, MassiveMonkeys.com. If you want to break dance, <laughs> you're scared to break dance, yeah. you have two left feet, yeah. and you're fearful of dancing in front of people, check out Jerome Ski Coaching, J-E-R-O-M-E. S-K-E-E -E, coaching.com. It's for people who are non-dancers, working professionals, to how to just perform and have a good time and just dance. Sweet, all right. So you guys heard it. These guys, I've been following them forever, ever since I was a little kid. I looked up to them as dancers because they were the people that came to our city and were, were good, so. Anyway, thank you so thank much you, for having me. Thank you. you. Original, original, original scene, like all the boss <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Way back. Oh, way back. Honey, guess what's on? Oh, Victoria's Secret? Yeah! You should turn it down. Taylor Swift is on! Magazine. A comment is actually a question of the day, and I noticed this was a question multiple times in today's vlog. Amy B2287 asks, mm -hmm. What is the name of the makeup remover you use? Are you curious too? Mm hmm that's I was wondering that all day <laughs> <laughs> I use Clinique's take the day off makeup remover um, it's an oil base and out of all the ones I've tried since like 2008 like out of all the eye makeup removers that is the best one it's great the one thing that some people may not like about it is that since it is oil based it leaves that oil residue so you do have to cleanse your face afterwards but um, it removes makeup so fast and you don't have to like tug your eyes so much. So there you go, Clinique. Clinique, is that the one in the white and green bag from Target? White and green bag? It's plastic bag, it's like this big. It's got the little towelettes in there. It's white and green? No, 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 no. Oh. Those, are, those are Target makeup wipes. Oh. Awesome cause, and I've received a few emails already from girls saying that they know somebody that has dealt with the situation or sex slavery, and it's just crazy. You just never. Yeah.